Hello, my fellow Americans and viewers from around the world. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Do you know what Black Lives Matter is? I mean, do you really? Have you gone to blacklivesmatter.com and read what they're all about? Or have you allowed the media to shape your view and your opinion about Black Lives Matter? Because if you haven't gone to their website and heard their message from them, then the Matrix has you. Because it's been proven that our government infiltrates organizations and does things to disrupt them, spies on them. This was all done to Martin Luther King back in the 60s. It's well documented. Because the government feels threatened. So this isn't some conspiracy theory nut. That's not what I'm about. What I'm trying to get you to understand is, is that if you do not check things out for yourself and you only rely on what you see on TV or read on Facebook, you don't go to the source and find out what their message is, then the Matrix has you. The propaganda machine is going to spin you. Because there's a lot of people who think Black Lives Matter wants people to go out and kill cops. That, that's the perception out there right now. That they think that there's some militant organization, you know, that wants to start a race war. But if you go to your, their website, that's not what they're about at, at all. You know, I, I'm not a member, but... Guess what? If I were to have a Black Lives Matter t-shirt on and go out and do some protest march and start yelling, kill the cops, kill the pigs, and all that kind of nonsense, and chances are the news will pick it up and they'll go, see, that's what they're all about. No! I just wore their t-shirt. I, I co-opt their message. And that's what's happening. I mean, a perfect example is the Muslims. They're trying to say that, you know, not all Muslims are uh, radicalized terrorists. Right? Y you believe that, right? That not all Muslims are radicalized terrorists. But somehow, there's many people that believe that they are. And there's people that believe that, you know, anybody in Black Lives Matter wants to go out and kill cops. Sad but true. It's because people are not willing to spend the time to do just a little research. It's like when my friend Mikey said, you know, Bernie Sanders. I didn't know a thing about Bernie Sanders. So I went to BernieSanders.com. I read his platform. Did not like it. When the Tea Party came out, I didn't know what they were all about. I went to their platform. I think I agreed with almost every one of their points, if not all of them. But the thing is, I took the five, ten minutes of time to go to the source and find out what their message is. I didn't rely on somebody's opinion or somebody's interpretation. I went to the source. Maybe people are too lazy to do that. I think maybe it's obvious. You know, they'll take the two seconds to read a Facebook meme and then they'll believe it. You know, people accuse me of posting stuff on Facebook about Hillary, but I'm just doing that on my buddy Mikey's page just because he's such a, you know, he's so anti-Trump. I just do it just to kind of balance things out. You know, it's, it's all in good fun. Some people take it way too seriously. And then they attack me personally. 
But and the thing is, once again, that is part of the propaganda machine. It's one of their tactics. They will attack you personally. They will call you things like a racist rather than talk about the issue. It's a diversion. It's a distraction. Don't fall for that because when you do, the matrix has you. Happens all the time. But not to me anymore because I unplugged from the matrix. You can't do that to me. Take everything with a grain of salt. But really, if, if you've got an opinion on Black Lives Matter, please, blacklivesmatter.com, read what they have to say about themselves, and then see if maybe your opinion changes. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Now, I'm not here doing this video to promote their website. I'm doing this video to promote people to find out from the source before they make up make opinions and go spouting things all over the, the world via the internet. I mean everybody's entitled to their opinion but the thing is your opinion should be formed after reading factual material. Because if your opinion is based on false material then what's your opinion? Really? What's it worth? Not much. At least not in my book. And if you're so arrogant that you think, oh, I don't need to read that, I already know, well, then you're just a lost cause. I mean, really. Oh, no, I don't need to read about them. I know everything about them. Well, how do you know about them if you haven't read about them? Well, I just know. Kind of sounds like some of the elected officials we have. See, I think this is what's wrong with the country, is that we are really, not me, but there's a lot of people out there who are sheep and they're being led by these shepherds. It's like, and they're happy to be led. It's like they don't want to do just a little bit of research. And it's so easy. It's it's right there in your hands, in your smartphone, or your tablet, or your laptop. I mean, just five or ten minutes, just so you know what you're talking about. I mean, sometimes people ask me something, go, hey, I, I really don't know about that. You know, let me Google it. Let me, let me find out some facts here. You know, give me a link. You know, otherwise, I can't have an opinion until I have some facts. And then I can you know, do the, my own analysis and come to my own conclusions. And finally, people, this is emotional, but it can be approached from a logical, reasonable perspective. I mean, some of my friends thought, it's like, it's like I'm, he thinks I'm off the rails, I'm off the deep end. I said, no, I'm awake now. Been awake for about the took me about 50 years, 50 laps around the sun to finally wake up and see that I've been lied to my whole life. And I can see it for the lie that it is, and I can see the lies coming at me now. So you have to go out and dig out the truth on your own, especially as easy it can be just go into an organization's website reading their mission statement just if you do nothing more than that or reading their platform at least then you've gotten it from the source my fellow Americans it's up to you it's your choice you can stay plugged in or you can unplug either way it's time to wake up Smell the tyranny.